Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can margin trade on Binance. Now, before I show you how you can trade on margin on Binance, I first want to say that there are risks associated with margin trading. So just make sure you understand what those risks are before you put on any margin trades. But having said that, let's get started. So right now I'm on Binance's markets tab and specifically the spot markets. Now, what I want to do is I'll click here on support margin and it'll bring up a list of the coins that you can trade on margin. So as you can see, BTC, it says 10X, whereas let's just say link 5X. So this means you can leverage your position by 10 times. This is five times, right? So all coins are a little bit different in terms of how much you can leverage them. So once you know which coin that you want to trade, let's take a look at an example. So for this example, I'll look at BNB USDT. Okay, so right now I'm on the trade dashboard for BNB USDT. And if we look over here, you'll see that there's cross 3x and isolated 10x. This just calculates the risk differently. So you'll have a separate account for a cross and a separate for 10x. It doesn't really matter which one you do. It's just more so how the risk is calculated across the cryptocurrencies that you have put a margin trade on. But either way, the way you would margin trade is applicable to both. So it doesn't matter if it's cross 3x or isolated 10x. But for the purpose of this example, let's just do this over here. So if you're not sure of how to get started, there is a margin trading steps thing right here. So first is you want to transfer collaterals. So I'll click on that. And basically, let's just say I want to move money or coins from my spot account into my margin account. So you have to have a margin account. So let's just say I'm going to open that up and I'm going to click confirm. And then it'll say I have zero right now. But if I, you see now it changes to 103 USDT. So this is how much I can potentially borrow based on how much collateral I've put in. So let's just say I want to put in a trade and you know, I'm going to say I want it for $20 and I want one, one BNB. So that means I'm going to borrow 20 USDT. Right now I don't have any USDT. So this is how much I would be borrowing from them if I were to put on this margin trade, right? So let's just say I put it on and my order gets filled. So this means that I'm able to buy one BNB for $20. So then after I close out my position, what I'm going to do is I would then go on to here and I would need to click on repay. So right now, because I've already borrowed 20 USDT from them, I owe them 20 USDT. It doesn't matter the price of BNB. So if the price of BNP goes up, great. If it goes down, then I lose out on how much I will have to pay them back. So basically, let's just say it goes up to 22. I want to sell that at 22 USDT. And I'm going to sell the full thing. And then I would click sell. And that means that it would repay whatever it is that I've borrowed and I get to keep the rest. So that's how you would margin trade. So here you want to borrow when you are going long. So you're going to borrow money or USDT to go long. And then in order to pay it back, you would just do the sell and then repay. Now this works on the other side as well in terms of going short. So let's just say you want to go short, you can borrow and then you would sell it and then you would repay it on the opposite side. So that's basically how you would margin trade on Binance. So you can margin trade for the long side and the short side. It doesn't matter. Anyways, I hope this video has helped you out or you found it educational. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below because I do check them and I do respond. If you think that there's someone who will get some value out of this video, please share it with them. If you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.